Often when we start creating art, it's done by isolating the thing from its environment. For example, we paint a flower on a white background, or we cut pieces from the magazine and glue them in a new order. But I have always been fascinated by art, where the environment and its details have a seamless connection, a natural connection. You could also call it atmosphere. I have often asked, what is nature like? What does it look like when something grows freely in its environment? So, not that you cut a flower and put it in a vase, but that you let the flower be born and live in its environment. When a flower is born naturally in its own environment, there's something indescribably delicate about it. When I paint, I try to protect the flower as well as I can. But what a human understands by protection can be foreign to nature. If you compare the beauty of nature and how it first comes to mind to paint, you will notice how much freer nature is from boundaries. In nature, the flowers merge with each other and the colors change little by little. The stems form a grid and the sunlight adds patterns to them. The abundance of diversity makes us immersed in the landscape and evokes a feeling of freedom. In Freely Grow, we delve into how the impression of nature is created. We don't use photos, but paint freely. We start with watercolors and finish with colored pencils. We change our conceptions of how something should be and learn what it would look like if it had grown freely. I'm Baby and I'm your guide in this course.